Hey everyone, this is Leah Serenity Rose. I'm sorry for not being as active on my YouTube channel as I recently went on a long-awaited vacation to both Hawaii and Florida and to start a vlogging series on my YouTube channel called Serenity's VTube where it will be my experiences when traveling to numerous places around the world as well as giving some travel tips and my overall experience at locations for tourist attractions, tourist spots, and everything about my trips. If you are new to my channel, be sure to like and subscribe to get more vlogging content for this new vlogging series. So here's the debut of my vlogging series, Serenity's VTube. Now, on to the intro! Hey everyone, this is Serenity here. I'm ex I'm so excited to start this new vlogging series. It has been on my mind for quite a while. Now since I have recently traveled this summer of this year, I got some wonderful footage to show you all while I talk about my experiences about the trips I go on for vacation. Episode 1 will be about my trip to Hawaii, to be specific, in Oahu. A fun fact, the day I left was the first day of San Diego Comic Con, ironically. So I had to miss out this year for Comic-Con. However, luckily my brother got me stuff from Comic-Con, so it was all good. Now, back on topic. During the flight, I did have my Switch to keep me occupied while enjoying beverages and snacks the flight attendants gave to us. When the pilot announced we were almost to Honolulu, it was about it was a bit bumpy due to the windy turbulence, but overall it was good. The plane is smaller since it is a domestic plane. Luckily, when the plane did take off and descend, I didn't feel the ear pop effect. Pretty fortunate on my end. When we arrived at the Honolulu airport, it felt surreal. We asked the staff of the airport how to get to the taxi area since my parents and I rented a car from Turo from private car owners via online and the mobile app. And since Hawaii has a law banning Turo car owners from dropping off their cars at the airports, we had to drive to the car owner's house to pick up the car. Here's travel tip number one. Turo is a handy app you can use to rent a car from a private car owner when going on vacation, and they even show how many stars each car owner has, and you can see the reviews from other people who have rented the car from the car owner to give you an idea of other people's experience when renting one of the cars from the car owner. It is affordable since every car owner has different prices and rates on their cars. I highly recommend that when you travel, you can always try the Turo car rental app when it comes to renting a car. Before you do use Turo, be sure when traveling within the US to another state, be sure to look online if Turo car owners are allowed to park their cars at the airport as every state is different. So when we arrived at the car owner's house, we picked up the car and it was very efficient in order to travel to the places we will be going to in Hawaii. So when my parents and I got to our hotel, it was a pretty serene and calm environment as the cultural setting theme in Hawaii. The people are so chill and relaxed even when driving on the freeways. There, there are all the drivers are so generous, no aggressive driving no accidents, and rarely any traffic. And that caught my parents and I by surprise. The hotel my parents and I stayed at is called the Halekoa Hotel, which is a military affiliated hotel, only as it is only for active duty veterans or people who have worked in DOD are allowed to stay at this specific hotel. Another interesting thing is that we had to scan our hotel key cards into the elevator and press the floor where our hotel room is on. Since I am guessing this is for security reasons as this is a military affiliated hotel, this was recurring as I kept waking up earlier than usual during my vacation in Hawaii due to the 3 hours behind time difference. 
However, it helped kickstart the morning as we enjoyed breakfast in the hotel lobby where we ate at the Java Cafe. Boy, their breakfast choices are pretty good, such as the breakfast bowl, which consists of scrambled eggs, bacon, sausage, and tater tots. They also have banana bread. They also have donuts, different pastries, even cereal, cereal boxes as well. And they have like so many other choices. So if you ever go to Hawaii, I highly recommend eating at the Java Cafe. It's really at, at the Halekoa Hotel. It's very delicious food. I highly recommend it. This is where our Hawaii vacation began with our first location and tourist spot, the USS Arizona Memorial. The US Arizona Memorial is a tourist spot which keeps the historical significance of the attack of Pearl Harbor and the USS Arizona Memorial was one of the several mil military ships that were attacked on the day of Pearl Harbor. So travel tip number two, I highly recommend that if you want to visit the USS Arizona Memorial without the hassle of waiting in the standby line, it is highly recommended that you pay for a reservation on recreation.gov. The reservation fee is only a dollar to reserve, so when you go on recreation.gov, you have to make an account in order to purchase the ticket. However, another great tip is to also plan ahead and know the date you will visit the memorial and the time as it will ask when you do try to purchase the tickets. Another piece of advice is the reservation tickets you buy on recreation.gov are only available on certain dates and times when they become available, so please plan ahead. And it is in Hawaii standard time, so take that into mind when planning to reserve your tickets on recreation.gov for the USS Arizona Memorial. So when my parents and I went into the theater where you are supposed to go, there were two lines, one for reservations and the other was the standby line. All we had to do is just show a reservation ticket, which they will scan and then they will allow you into the theater, which is why I strongly recommend you buy and reserve your tickets online at recreation.gov. Once in the theater, a tour guide will come in and will tell you to exit through the doors on the left and will lead you to the loading dock of the boat where the boat will take you to the USS Arizona Memorial which is the white building floating in the ocean where you can see all the names of those who have perished in Pearl Harbor. It is also close to Ford Island and as such, they do tell you to stay silent during your visit there to pay respects to those who have perished. So after taking the boat ride back to the Pearl Harbor Visitor Center, we walked around a bit to see the sites in the Visitor Center where we took some photos and got some footage of the Visitor Center. I would say I can see why this is a popular tourist spot in Oahu, Hawaii. It pays great respect to those who perished on that day in Pearl Harbor and a great way to preserve such an important event in U.S. history. So I highly recommend going to the USS Arizona Memorial as it is a great tourist spot to learn the historical tragedy of Pearl Harbor and paying respect to those who lost their lives in the Pearl Harbor tragedy. Okay, the next location my parents and I went to is the Dole Plantation. The Dole Plantation is one of Oahu's most popular visitor attractions and welcomes more than 1 million visitors a year. I was pretty surprised to hear that they had that they get so many tourists to this tourist spot. The Dole Plantation provides enjoyable activities for the entire family, including the Pineapple Express train tour the plantation garden tour, and the pineapple garden maze. So when my parents and I arrived, we immediately took photos in front of the gift shop and restaurant. We went inside to see the gift shop and I did try the yummy Dole Whip pineapple soft serve ice cream with pineapples on the side of the ice cream. And I must say it was delicious and very sweet. I highly recommend you try their soft serve pineapple ice cream. It is definitely worth it to try it if it is on your bucket list to try the popular and famous Dole Soft Serve Pineapple Ice Cream. You can see an image of me here trying out the Dole Pineapple Ice Cream and I enjoyed it very much. It was super sweet and my mom also did order a pineapple, pineapple juice and it was also sweet. So um, my experience is definitely 10 out of 10 for the pineapple ice cream. So. After looking inside the gift shop, we went on one of the activities, which we went on the Pineapple Express train tour, 
which takes us around the Dole Plantation of all the food they grow right on the plantation. So here's travel tip number three. A great tip is the prices for the Pineapple Express train tour are that for adults, they are $13 each. Children from four to 12 are $11 each. And I believe if it's children three and under, they are free. And if, and if you are military, whether active duty veteran or slash vet veteran, you get a military discount for $12.25 each. So the Pineapple Express train tour was pretty fun as we did travel for at least 20 minutes around the plantation where we did see cacao trees, bananas, pineapples, and many other foods, even macadamia nuts they even grew there. So it was a very informative. It was very informative. The train ride tour is pretty relaxed and overall good experience, which I highly recommend this train tour in case if you are curious to learn the types of food they grow on the plantation, try out this tour in specific. I highly recommend going to the Dole Plantation as it is a highly popular and one of the most visited tour spots to go to in Oahu, Hawaii. After the tour, we saw a kiosk on the left side of the gift shop where they are selling coconut drinks where you can drink out of the coconut itself with a straw. And I must say my first time, it was delicious and I definitely felt refreshed after drinking from the coconut. Something I always wanted to try drinking from an actual coconut. And so yes, I managed to check that off my bucket, bucket list and... I highly recommend the Dole Plantation for any of you who are planning to sightsee in Oahu, Hawaii and to try the famous and popular Dole soft serve pineapple ice cream and drinking from an actual coconut are my two recommendations to try when you go to the Dole Plantation. So I highly recommend this. So I highly, highly recommend it. It's so delicious and you will feel so refreshed especially since my parents and I went there when it was like warm. So definitely coconuts are really good for rehydration. So Dole Plantation is definitely a must when you're visiting Oahu, Hawaii. This is a brief location my parents and I went to as many tourists go to this place to buy the macadamia nuts in this place, but we came to just find out it's just a store and then head to the Kualoa Ranch. So we did take some nice photos and we did briefly go to a park close to the Kualoa Ranch as I did want to mention this briefly. Very beautiful view at the park and seeing the beautiful ocean and we do see an island right across from the park that we, we briefly visited before going to the Kualoa Ranch. Ah, one of the highlights of my trip to Oahu, Hawaii. My parents and I went to the Kualoa Ranch. This is the place where they filmed the famous Jurassic Park films, as well as other films and TV shows, such as the original Magnum P.I. starring Tom Selleck, Lost, and many other TV shows and films. My parents and I went into the gift shop to see what they have. I got myself a t-shirt and we bought a few other merch in the gift shop. After that, we went, we went back to the kiosk to check in for a reservation tour at 12 p.m. Hawaii Standard Time, of course. So travel tip number four. When I booked the reservation for the Jurassic Adventure Tour, I went on the Kualoa Ranch website, well, this specific part of the website, which the link will be there briefly. There you go. Specifically in order to get the military discount. I highly recommend to also be sure you know what date and time you will be able to go to the Kualoa Ranch and book the tour. If you are active duty slash veteran, you can get the military discount for any of the tours that they have at Kualoa Ranch. Very, very beneficial. So, mm, very beneficial for, for my parents and I. So I did my research and the Jurassic Adventure Tour is one of the newer tours they added to their tours but I'm not sure how long the Jurassic Adventure Tour in specific has been available to book a tour for, but it was really cool seeing the different areas where they shot the different film scenes in the Jurassic Park films. So when, when we started the tour, we, they have designated waiting areas for, um, for each of the tours, and they do tell you which, which which area you are supposed to go to 
corresponding to the tour that you're going on. So the tour guide even did this awesome photo op for all of us on the tour with this awesome illusion and angle type of photo. And it was amazing how the tour guide was able to angle it just right, even though in reality the statue is really small compared to the optical illusion in the photo my parents and I took. So here's the photo op here showing it was a cool optical illusion. And basically the tour guide pretty much wanted us to just look at the mountain and just imagine there's a dinosaur right there. So we all had to make like a scary fear face. And that's how the tour guide captured the photo. So if you're curious and specific to know the filming locations for the Jurassic Park films, I highly recommend this tour. But as a fair warning, you will be on the bus and the road is a very bumpy ride. As a huge warning before you do book your tour at the Kualoa Ranch. The beginning of the tour, the tour guide did take us to a bunker of all the TV shows and films that filmed there in Kualoa Ranch. Here are some of the photos I took of inside the bunker and whatnot. So it gave us a better idea of the TV shows and films we watched that were filmed there in the Kualoa Ranch. So I highly recommend going to Kualoa Ranch as it is in Oahu, Hawaii. Definitely worth it to try one of the tours. But if you are um, very interested specifically for the to know the filming locations of the Jurassic Park films, definitely take definitely book the Jurassic Adventure tours as that one is just solely focused on the Jurassic Park. And they did take us to the lab in, in the Jurassic World films and Jurassic Park as well. And we are allowed to go inside on the second floor. And what they have, according to the footage that I'm showing right now, they have the photos even showing Chris Pratt and the other actors. There's like just photos hanging in there. And my mom and I also did a photo out, like my dad took a photo from outside while my mom and I were upstairs. It was a really great experience, so. And they also took a photo before we did um, go on the tour. And it's $20 if you wanna buy the, the photo before you went on the tour, after the tour. So we did go we did have fun, but as I said, a fair warning, if you go on the Jurassic Adventure tours or even the movie film, there's like there's like another tour called the movie films where they do several. So we did see like Skull Island as well. So definitely the footage that I show here is that I got on the Jurassic Adventure tours, but fair warning before you do. It's a very, very bumpy ride, so take it with caution and fair warning, as I just warned you. So after the Kualoa Ranch, my parents and I went to walk around the Waikiki area just to see the sights in Waikiki. It was a pretty nice environment where my parents and I did watch a Hawaiian dance at one of the malls, and it was nice watching it in person. You could see in the short footage of where the dancers are dancing. I also had haagen ice cream where I had a small banana split ice cream Sunday and Waikiki is pretty nice to walk around it's next to the beach you can see like so many tourists and even residents at the beach enjoying the nice blue ocean like this it's so stunning and beautiful there in Waikiki I highly recommend so the next day my parents and I did more sightseeing driving around in the rental car where we did end up seeing a nice ocean beach view where we got nice photo worthy photos with this beautiful blue ocean. You can see the footage here of the beautiful ocean view we saw. It is breathtaking. Like you can even hear the water. You can see the waves as well. So it, it was very nice and serene. We did briefly go to the USS Missouri Memorial on Ford Island just for a brief moment. And here are a few photos and it was nice going to another memorial. So I would like to mention it briefly here. Next is the Foster Botanical Garden. So after seeing the beautiful ocean view, we went to the Foster Botanical Garden where we saw huge plants and trees. Definitely a lot of different plants and trees from around the world and locally there in Hawaii. And you can see the footage I got 
there at the Foster Botanical Garden and photos of how huge some of the trees were. A nice place to relax and we took a break from sightseeing so I highly recommend I highly recommend the Foster Botanical Garden because the breeze is nice there. Like it's a nice place to relax and my parents and I did relax for like several minutes before we left. So I highly recommend that. So after the Foster Botanical Garden, we did a bit more sightseeing and then headed back to the hotel to relax on the ground floor of the hotel. We just relaxed at the seats and underneath the beautiful tree decorations which look like something you could see in the avatar film you know the blue people you know of pandora so here are a few photos and it is quite pretty and this is at the hotel my parents and i were staying at which again is the halekoa hotel so then the last day before the day we had to head home we went to buy Honolulu cookie shortbread cookies and chocolate macadamia nuts for two of my friends since it is cheaper in Hawaii because of their tax rate is lower in Hawaii so that's why the chocolate macadamia nuts is cheaper over there so I highly recommend to to buy chocolate macadamia nuts in Hawaii because they are the tax rate is lower there so and last day we got the last minute photos before we left to drop off the rental car at the car owner's house and then we had uber pick us up and head to the airport when we arrived at the airport that we are only allowed two carry-ons because of the plane requirement so my mom was able to fit our backpacks in each tote bag that we bought and we managed to fit our carry-ons underneath the seat even though it was tight but huge shout out to my mom she <laughs> she is a genius in being able to make it work so in so yeah that was my trip to hawaii so overall i enjoyed my time in hawaii hawaii for the first time in vac for first time for vacation so i hope to visit it again one day so we can sightsee places we haven't seen if you plan to travel to o Wahoo, Hawaii. The places I highly recommend are the USS Arizona Memorial, Dole Plantation, and Kualoa Ranch are a must to visit and go on the tours. But as I've mentioned in my travel tips for each of those, make sure you create and know the date and times that you will be able to go. Well, Dole Plantation, it could, it could be and in, you can improvise on that one because that one you can only buy the tickets in person. But USS Arizona Memorial and the Kualoa Ranch, make sure I highly recommend that you, um, I highly recommend that you have a plan and whatnot. So, um, but there are also tours you can also research online as there are tour packages you can find online for the different activities other than the ones that my parents and I went on. So my best travel advice would be to plan ahead, create an itinerary, and pack accordingly to the weather. Because when my parents and I went, it was, it was pretty hot and warm. So we just dress in t-shirt and shorts for the most part. But as I said, also another good, another good one is also looking, look, researching the weather before you head to Hawaii. So you, so you are better prepared in packing the necessary stuff that you need. So thank you all for watching the first episode of my vlogging series, Serenities V2. Be sure to look on the lookout for episode two, Florida, specifically Orlando. There will be a preview for episode two coming soon. And so look forward to that. This is Serenity signing off and be sure to like and subscribe for more vlogging content for the new vlogging series for my YouTube channel.